Well, good morning. Well, it's morning here. It's a beautiful Tuesday morning. Oh, I want to do a wonderful video on a subject I really don't like. Olympia predictions. Why don't you like them, Lee? Because they're dumb. People get upset when you place them somewhere. They're so sensitive. Big muscular men are all like, ooh, he said I was going to place it. Who gives a fuck where I said I'm going to place you? Means fuck all. It's how you look on the day of the show. So if you get placed slow, don't worry about my Olympia fucking predictions. Actually, you fuckers should be training that hard. You shouldn't be worried about fucking Olympia predictions. You should be so into your training. Who gives a fuck what an old cunt like me says or anybody else says? Train your ass off. Prove us all wrong. But we see it all. Photos before a contest. Leading up to a show. It ain't perfect. Look, fuck. I could place top six of the Olympia going by photos. If I get the lighting right, get the pump right, and you're standing by yourself. We all look great. Like I said, until the day of the show, it's hard to say. Because here we have, in the lineup here, let me have a look. Derek Lunsford, Hardy, Sampson. Now, if we're going from past things, right there, Derek, Hardy, Sampson. You're probably going to be looking at the top three right there. Nick Walker, yes, fantastic. You know, people say he's blocking it, but... For the size and mass he has, he's got a small waist, so I don't hold that against him. But when you're looking at Hardy and Derek and Samson's symmetry and structure, then apples and oranges. I know people say that, and I hate saying that, but it is. So it's going to be hard, even though Nick, Nick is freaky and has all that size and that. But it's going to be hard to beat those. We can't count out Brendan Curry. Beautiful shape. Nice mass. People go on about his legs. Yeah, maybe compared to Rami, that his legs are down a bit. But if you see him in person, he hasn't got fucking small legs, okay? So Brandon Curry could still mix it up. Akeem Williams, another mass monster. And then you got Martin. Now you got to remember, Martin was up against Nick. Martin could be in the top six. Bonac, you can't count him out. He could be there. John De La Rosa, there's another guy anywhere between... Six and eighth, I could see John Delos. That's what I mean. There's so many good physiques this time. This is what I like about it, with not having a dominant physique. I'm not saying Hardy or Derek's not dominant, but when you look at the eras of Dorian, Phil Heath, Ronnie Coleman, when you knew those guys were in the lineup, you just knew, boom, if he's on, he's going to win. Whereas people like Derek, Hardy, and all these other people that yeah they're good and they can win but they don't seem to have what it takes to have this legacy to go on and on to John Jewett like I said it's going to be a good lineup and like I said it's going to be so good and I've got Hunter Labrada I don't know if I see Hunter in the top six now I'm not saying he's not good but I just think with the others you got there you know maybe Hunter and Nick could fight it out but then you got Martin there too so and Andrew Jack we can't forget that if you were to go, say, Derek, Hardy, in any order, Sampson, Andrew, Jack, Nick, Martin, John De La Rosa. Because like I said, it's really going to come down to who nails it. Hardy, Derek, Sampson, Andrew, Nick, Martin, or Martin and Nick. Those six in any order. So I'm not going to put him in order, but I'm guessing those will be in the top six. It's going to be a very interesting show. Let's just hope it's judged fairly and the best man wins on the day. And I can say men because none of them are going by they, them pronouns. All of them, last time I checked, were he, him, I think.